Can you just us through the last play there and not calling a timeout and what you were kind of looking for on the last possession? Yeah, I think it was a great no-call timeout because we had enough time to get up there and get organized. Um, I would have to see the play again. Um, but I think me, Yoke, KCP was in the action. LeBron was on me. Uh, K got out of there. I came off, they switched. And then I just, uh, I think I had, uh, Yoke was kind of looming, waiting for me to make a decision. And then um, I just, you know, faked like I was going to shoot a three or do a step back or something. And then AD kind of pressed up a little bit. I just got to my spot, beat him to the spot, and I was able to elevate and make it. That you told him you didn't even see it go in. Mm -hmm. What was like your literal like view <laughs> as you were going down? Uh, well, I mean, I, I I jumped I jumped pretty high, I faded a lot, and uh, I just lost my balance and fell. And uh, I just saw the ball over the rim. I think AD was in my way, or some some somebody was in my way. Um, and I just heard everybody scream. And that's how I know it went in. So it was a pretty cool moment. Jamal, you've obviously been in plenty of these moments before. You've been in situations before where you don't necessarily you don't necessarily start as efficiently as you want to. But what gives you the mental confidence and the experience to fight your way through it and to continue to deliver for a team? Uh, I've done it before, man. I've done it before, and uh, man, all the credit to my teammates. You know, there's a point in the game. I forget when it was. I think it was around the third end of the third, fourth. And I had missed a couple, and I was like, "Man, I'm let me let me uh, like I'm looking for you guys. Just relocate, just whatever the game plan was. I was looking to find guys, and every single one of them told me to shoot it. I mean, um, it's it's amazing to be on a team where you play 40 minutes and you you're shooting awful, um, the balls in your hand a lot of the time, and and a lot of the openings are for you to uh, step up and make some shots. So. To miss, you know, like I said, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, damn near 14, I don't know how many it was in a row. Um, for all of them to tell me to keep shooting and none of them uh, ever wavered in, 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 in confidence in me hitting a shot is, you know, I think pretty special. And then that's what really kept me shooting. You know, I, I would have tried to, I would have tried to get somebody going. I would have, you know, I was telling the yoke, you know, on the pick and roll, I'm looking for you, whatever, Mike, you know, come off ready to shoot. Um, but all of them, like, yo, just go be aggressive. and. And uh, that was the memo. So um, I just shot the same percentage that I did last game. It just didn't feel like it. Um, but it's, you know, everybody knew that I was going to make it when it counted. Jamal, you kind of did this last year in game two against the Lakers. You got hot in the fourth quarter. And I'm just curious, like, just from your standpoint, I know you said your teammates were had your back. But how do you go just from zero to assassin like that in the fourth quarter? Uh, like I said, it's not just the playoffs. I've, I've had plenty of halves where I don't, I don't <clears throat> have the best half or shoot the best. Um, and I think everybody in here knows I'm, I'm pretty capable of, of making shots. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, that was it, man. I just, everybody wanted me to stay aggressive. And, uh, once I hit one, two, I just tried, I tried to mix it up, go into the rim to see it go in. I finally got to the foul line. Um, Made two free throws, and after that, I was just okay. Um, I'm in a better headspace, and um, the game's in the balance. So, you know, I was able to just kind of pick up where I left off after I made a couple um, in the fourth, and that's really what it came down to. So, yeah, man. Sometimes it doesn't go your way, but you know that's why there's 15, 16 guys on the on the on the team. Um, Doing their job, and like everybody on the bench was just, was just confident in, in in my ability, so I was able to stay aggressive and, and keep it going. Jamal, um, you know, early in your career, coach was talking about it early in your career, one of the playoff game against New Orleans, where you kind of had a similar script. You you know you weren't making shots, and then you kind of found a big basket. What, what do you remember about that game, that playoff game? He said that he told you that you were the future, and you know, how how important is it that, you know, your coach has that kind of ultimate confidence in you? Yeah, it was game two versus Spurs at home. Um, that was our first time making the playoffs. And I, I, I remember I the same thing. I was missing crazy. I missed a dunk. I, was, I remember I was missing point blank stuff. Um, and it just really sucks when, you know, you teammates rely on you to make 
certain shots and um, yeah, I wasn't coming through for them. So it's just deflating when you – no, it's less even about me. I know I'm going to have bad shooting nights, but when you, you feel like you're letting your teammates down, those really hurt. So for them just to uh, pick me up during the game, coach for, for him to pick me up during the game, all the coaches, man, every single one of them um, was telling me to keep shooting, be aggressive in the timeout. I felt like I was playing so terrible the way they were talking to me during the game. Um, so it was just funny, like, you know, uh, how many times that happens where I've – I've struggled, and then um, I'm able to make a couple to kind of change the balance of the game. So, yeah, uh, I'm sure that won't be the last. And you, uh, you've hit, obviously, a lot of big shots. And uh, you talked about seeing the ball go in the rim, but then hearing the crowd. Have you ever hit a louder shot than that one? <laughs> um, the one I can remember was – in actually, it was game two against the Spurs, and I had made a three. I had, I think I made like the last 19, 20 in a row, and then I made a, we had hit a three. Yoke got a steal, and then I got a transition three, and I feel like that was another one of them. That same game, I also had to step back. I did the arrow. That was one of the loudest shots. That same game, though, game two. So I don't know what it is with game two. Or no? Um, it was more when people, when I was hurt, people were saying uh, bubble, Jamal. And as I'm coming back from injury, that was like, that was a little deflating, a little annoying, uh, because I knew I wasn't, I wasn't who I was yet. I was still trying to work my way from the injury. Um, but other than that, man, I, I, I'm, I'm cool with it now. You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of coming back from injury that, that bothered me because I knew I wasn't that that type of player yet. I just need to get my legs under me. I need some more experience. And, um, yeah, now you can call me. I don't care what the hell you guys call me now. Go ahead. <laughs> Anything else? Hey, uh, uh, MPJ said that, that some of the quotes in the locker room were, were you and KCP's doing. I was just wondering... Um, like how you guys kind of planned that one about that, and did you get quotes for each other also? Yeah, I got a Mike Tyson one because, you know, the fighting <laughs> reference. I like to fight. Um, Charles did a good job. He he brought us together, and he uh, – him and Kay picked him up for the most part. I, I dabbled a little bit, but, um, yeah, man, I think just having your teammates uh, – think about you off the court, about the little things can go a long way. You know, I've had – I remember IT gave us – headphones before so you know I got everybody in the locker room New Balance shoes um just little stuff you know you just try to keep everybody the ball boys got them too security guards so I think just kind of keeping everybody together and um KCP did a good job of picking most of the quotes out um but yeah man I don't know I don't think that's working I don't want to see spazzing out Jamal again. Um, yeah, he told me, he said, you're going to win this game. You're going to make the shot. You're going to make the shot. CB, same thing. I, I think damn near, damn near, every P what everybody. Um, it is hard to see it when you're shooting that bad. Um, yeah, I had, a, I had a rough stretch in the third, and um, my teammates were there to pick me up. It was That was, it was simply it. If it wasn't for my teammates, um, it could have been a different game. So uh, I appreciate every single one of them. Every one of the, every single one of them told me to keep shooting. And you should you should have been in the huddles hearing the amount of keep shooting I was getting. Um kinda of getting frustrated with them because I just wanted to be quiet. But it was nice just to have that kind of support from everybody. You know, everybody was uh, in my ear. So uh shout out to my teammates, man. They helped me get it done. I mean in the moment it's different, you know what I'm saying? You're you're just upset. You're just pissed. You know everything can kind of get to you, but when you look back, it's like man, I, that's exactly what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. And I think um, they wouldn't have said that if I didn't show that kind of emotion on the bench. Um, yeah, just just in my own head a little bit. And I have my pops in the stands too, so 
you know, he, he talked to me at halftime and I talked to him throughout the game all the time. So, um, like I said, it was, it was everybody um, that wanted me to, to stay aggressive. Appreciate it.